just can't make my mind up with music. It all kind of sucks. Shit. Oh, the gen. Better not be sleeping. Hello. Hello, hello. Have you met Mr. Rockwell? Uh, I don't I think, think so. Met in passing. Maybe. One that's working with Minnie. Uh, no, no, nope. no, no. Different I don't think so. This is somebody different. Anyway, I'll let y'all chat for a second while I look at this real quick. Howdy. Name's Peter Rockwell, treasure hunter. Oh, treasure hunter. Ah, uh, Robert Fisher, uh, amateur writer. Robert Fisher. Fisher. Yes, sir. The proud fisherman, until a couple days ago, and they discovered the, the pleasures of smacking a hammer against a wall and getting uh, wonderful it's... gems. Are you a miner now? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm old enough. <laughs> oh, so which goodness. which which um which mine do you tend to fear? Some uh some mine I found in Ansberg while researching cannibals and hideouts. I found it it was actually a really nice abandoned mine, so a lot of uh untapped treasures there. Yeah. Well uh, if you're looking to sell some gems, I'll I'll pay you more than Abigail does. Yes, I don't. Uh, he will pay you more for probably anything. However, if you would like a gem pouch to hold all those lovely gems, if you don't have one already, I'm running a deal where you can get them for $15 from me instead of $20 from the Lady in Strawberry. Oh, I'll have to grab one of those from you. I didn't even know those existed. Um, mm -hmm. But no, I don't have any on me right now. Usually I try to flip those real fast. They're really good for um, war as well. <laughs> They're good for war? Or Oh, or. The, has the general store been business is booming I assume uh, it hasn't been too bad I have I mean it's better than standing in the telegram office just waiting to get kidnapped that too yeah <laughs> at least you're a little bit more uh, secure 
Yeah, it's heard the uh, that the last one was botched. Yeah, do you read that in the paper? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking forward to it. I'm like, out of anyone they took, they took a reporter. <laughs> right. All right, Peter. If you, I tell you what, if you let me hold on to these, yep, for uh, well, let me fit, let me, I can give you the fourth one back in a second. Yeah, the only one I need need um, pretty soon will be number seven because that one's already been purchased. All right. Well, all right. Then give me like five or ten minutes to just sit here quietly, and uh, I've got one of Miss Imogen's little her little brownie cameras here, and I'll make sure and get this to a shorthand version for myself so you can take these back. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll be around down still, unless you want me to come back in about 20, 30 while I go drop this ticket off. I mean, I'll be you're around. Just, you're still around. Mm -hmm. All right, well, yeah, we'll do that. Um, All right. Thanks again. You're welcome. I'm leaving in 40 minutes, just so you know. this last night after I had like be one too many thought it was okay hold a Stephen King you know instead of cocaine and whiskey Narragansett though you could big money okay <laughs> you could big money I wrote that okay got a proofread Grab your text. Sounds like dick. Okay. I like it. And now I'll just take these to her and she can give me 10 types of all these. And I have copies. Seems unconventional, but fancy trip to Rhodes later. Absolutely. Uh, actually, um, I completely forgot. I kind of had a couple whiskeys last night after playing some poker, and then I, I wrote a, <laughs> I wrote a quick article. Uh, I realized there was a lot of spelling errors, but uh, I, I don't know. I think it, it kind of reads more of an advertisement. So I don't know. I'm skeptical. I'm already skeptical. Let me see it. Yeah. You wrote an article after you got drunk. You would. Let's see here. <laughs> Grab your decks and stop by the bank. Poker fever has struck Saints Crossing. Ooh. It is a little advertising, but it's... Yeah. 
I, instead of putting Clint's name in, because he didn't really, it didn't seem like he really wanted to associate himself with any of what was going on. He, I yeah. Would, I mean, he wants to do things, but what I would say is, uh, is just encourage people instead of to contact somebody, you know, who's around about it because right, he, there's him and then there's this other fella, right? Just encourage them to go and find a table and maybe include where the different tables are. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, that's actually what I added at the end. And then, uh, you know what? Honestly, I think I was right to maybe just focus on that and save some uh, characters by uh, getting rid of yeah, because he wasn't really telling me much last night, unfortunately. He didn't really want to speak on the drama or anything. Right, so. I heard him say that he, you know, he didn't, he wanted to talk to the fella directly and everything and didn't want to involve himself in any kind of, like, nonsense, So, uh, which was admirable, I think, for the man. But that doesn't mean your article is useless. It just means that instead of including his name, just, uh, just talk about poker. I mean, you spend a lot of time at the poker table, so just talk about kind of what you've seen i guess not not personally but or don't make it a personal article but just you know things that people would notice if they were there and then say and if you want to join in on the drama or the fun yourself you can find a table in valentine blackwater and such yeah. and such wherever people go you know good idea talk and you can make that one sound fun too like legendary faces of the cross and are constantly playing poker at such and such you know things like that <laughs> make it sound ridiculous you'll never know who you run into <laughs> you really would never will, will you? Oh, yeah. Always someone strange. I have been so busy today, Robert. So busy. I've written three articles. I have wow. uh, published another one. I have um, started working on a mission statement for the paper. Very busy. Just a busy day. Is that part of the paper drama? Yes. I think that if the reporters all had a cohesive, um, unified front or statement that we could point to and say... This is who we are, and this is what we do. Mm -hmm. Then that would be helpful because I think that there is some general misunderstanding. You know, there's people, there's folks out there. I've talked to some people who have people who have committed crimes, who believe that the law dictates what we can put or not put in the paper, which is entirely untrue. Um, I think some of the law believe that we tend to count out criminals and uh, and uh, sensationalize things, which is also not true. Um, the reality of the situation is we have 450 characters that we can, you know, these little tiny boxes that the press says, oh, well, we can only fit them in here. So that's falls on you. It's very difficult to write multiples of a particular, like a series. So we, uh, we just have to deal with that. It's very hard to get into the nuance of an issue in that short space. So we're left to the bare bones and I'm sorry if the facts don't support your reputation. Well, <laughs> do better. Yeah, I would think you really want to keep your nose job. Like, you want to keep yourself reputable, and that way people can't question your articles and the foundation they're built on, all, all sorts. Exactly. And it's, uh, well, I mean, people have tried to start propaganda papers in the past, but I support the right of free speech, so it's perfectly fine if people want to do that. But, uh, I mean, the, the main paper, lawful, factual, those are your rules. That's about it. And uh, do we always get things right? No, we're human beings and we talk to other people. But yeah. and they are, you know, they constantly have ulterior motivations, it seems like. So this should help with the whole ulterior motivation issues that we've been arising. Hopefully, I mean, and it's, like you said, it's really good to have a good mission statement that people can kind of call to. Yes. So I have, I think I'm going to make a short version that can go in the paper itself so people know what they're looking at when they read it. And then I'm going to have a longer version for uh, for the reporters uh, ourselves. That way we can say, okay, let me remind myself what my purpose is. I wonder if you could like almost modify the header or even... I will. Yeah, That's yeah. yeah. Like well, a... the one that says the, the at one about ads and events, you know, right about your, your ad, your event in the States Daily, whatever the title is. It'll go in there. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's good. But, I mean, even even above that, I mean, you have the voice of the West and beyond and all this space we could, you know, <laughs> this real estate we could mm. maybe use, like, far above. I wonder if that could be... I'm sure that goes into the... the uh, what is it? Not the mold, but uh, the template. Oh, that, I don't know. Maybe hmm. I could have that modified. That way, like, maybe you could just kind of scooch Saints Daily up a bit and just kind of put a mission statement almost or just get rid of Voice of, we of the West and Beyond because I don't think anyone 
ever really says that. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah. It would be nice if that said something that we... I, I had never even noticed that until you pointed it out just yeah. now. So it would be nice if that was... Uh, if that was um, something that I could update or have updated. Guess it's something to bring up tomorrow. Guess so. You're right. Add it to the list. So yes, I need to finish this mission statement probably, I guess, when I get back tonight. I need to go into Rhodes and see Mr. Flood. But I don't think he's going to be awake for another half hour, so I'll wait for Mr. Rockwell to come back, give him his books back. And then we'll probably head out. I sent a lot of telegrams to people that I was going to be here today because there's always lots of folks who are like, Oh, I'd like to write an advertisement. I'd like to meet with you about this or that. And then they never show up. <laughs> never contact me. Yeah, pretty much every person that uh, Coiner had me write to about an ad, they've never really responded. Or the Exactly. Fir the first they one they did, and I said, Okay, let's meet up. I'm here. Or, you know, these are my, this is my availability. <laughs> there was never any follow-up. Like, right, and right. no one ever responds. Exactly. It's very strange. I got to the point where I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just going to have to have, like, you know, I'll wake up. I'll go to work for an hour or two, maybe two hours. I'll say, okay, these are my working hours. And that way, and I'll always be in the same spot, which I guess I'm doing now, actually. And then I can just tell people, you can just show up if you would like. I'm here for two hours every night. Mm -hmm. And, yep, and easy to find. But if you don't come to me within those two hours or make other arrangements and just make sure that the, the onus is always on them. Yeah. That way I can't be faulted for, oh, well, they never <clears throat> got back to me. You, like, hell, I didn't. I don't know. I mean, maybe they just get a, a little shy with having to meet, but I, I know it's really good to me because then you get the nuances of their advertisement and what they're actually looking for. Right. It's always <laughs> better to actually have a real meeting with people rather than try to get it done over Telegram. Yeah, that's far better. Oh, well. They're lost. So what have you been out doing lately? Okay. Who are all these people? I just woke up. So it's hmm. been an exciting day for me. I don't know. How do you do? <laughs> I think one of them is Rennie. Howdy, what can I help you with today? Uh, well, just stepped off the boat. I was hoping to get some supplies to get to moving. Sure, of course. Well, welcome. Uh, I'm Abigail Jones. I work here in the Jenner store. And I uh, also write for the Saints Daily Paper. Uh, this over here is Mr. Robert Fisher. He's a friend of mine. What, what kind of supplies were you looking for to get started with? Uh, canteen and some food would be wonderful. All right. Well, I certainly have a canteen. Do you have anything that you prefer to eat? We got beans. We got cans of corned beef. There's stew across the way at the saloon. Uh, bread will be fine. Oh, bread roll is perfect. How many? Ten? Uh, that'd be great, yeah. Alright, we've got here one canteen, some bread rolls, that'll be $21. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. So you're fresh off the boat, huh? What are you planning to do around here? You come here for work, or uh, just passing through, or what? Uh... Yeah, still figuring that out. Heard there was uh, some work to be done not too far from here with the uh, maybe moving some lumber. So thought I'd start there and go from there. That is absolutely true. Well, best of luck to you. Be safe out there, okay? Well, what dude, was that you said you said that was Abigail Jones. That's right. Miss Jones is a pleasure. Thank you. Oh, what about your name? Oh, apologies. Uh, Eliana Rivers. Eliana Rivers. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Rivers. All right, y'all see y'all around. Take care. I have met three people fresh off the boat today. Really? Mm-hmm, yes. Because people uh, like Blackwell. 
I guess so. I just I like black water. Yeah, like well, it was it was the cheapest boat, honestly. <laughs> so it worked out. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> When I got here, I saw it off in St. Denis. Yes, I looked at that, that fee for, you know, getting on the boat there. And then there was a couple of pop-offs. I, I came from a city, but I kind of want to get out of that element. All right. That's right. You don't like St. Denis at all. I remember you saying. It's pretty. I, I would like to like it, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I just feel like it's just brimming with, uh, people who are just itching at the hip to fire off a gun. So strange to me, being in a place that tightly packed with people and that's all you care about. Yeah. Tumbleweed, I can understand. Yeah, yeah, not much going on there. I went there for the that's first time I not too long ago. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Have I been out there? I did go out there one time. We had to go and pick up a horse. Yeah, yeah, it was tumbleweed. There was a, a there was a poker game out there. Oh, you know what? I think I did it, the, the posters for that. Oh, I thought I was going to get killed because it was, uh, well, you know, about a week ago. And so... Oh, was that the game you told me about that you won? Yes. <laughs> We were we were just all at Valentine, just kind of hanging out, and uh, you know, I did, hey, let's let's go play poker, and all of a sudden there's a there's a wagon outside, and everyone get on, get on, and I'm like, oh, okay, and then it kind of dawned on me, realizing who I'm surrounded by, and a lot of it's uh, folks who's associated with the gentleman who uh, put a hit on me. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, but goodness. yeah, no, it was a uh, quite uh, quite all right. It was a good time. I'm glad that it worked out. Ah, oh, tell you what, before I leave here for Rhodes, I need to go and take a moment to myself, but I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Can't forget to promo. Shitty little.
How you keeping? Let's just say it can only get better. The other day, I watched two fellas line up for a duel, draw irons, and then miss every shot. Kind of took the wind out of their sails. <laughs> I heard that said before. Hung that fellow who stole a bag of flour from the general store. <sighs> Guess that's one way to cure a man of hunger. It's just getting worse and worse. What are you writing about now? Oh, okay, I'll leave you to it. I still had to wait for Peter to come back or wander around and look for him. I'm gonna go put on my jacket and vest. Business is good. The more people moving here, the better it gets. That is just the way it is. Not sure. Whoever he is, he's mighty suspicious of whoever these people are coming down the street. Oh, me? Oh my goodness. I did not realize I was holding that in my hand. I had no clue. Wow. <laughs> well, there's Peter. What are you doing here? Howdy again. I like those pants. Thank you. I just made this outfit and I don't like the boots because they don't mix, match the shirt. Now I'm excited about it. Oh, I have been there more times than I care to admit. Mm hmm. They're yeah. always bad. Awful. <laughs> there you oh, go. You, you, you did them all? Yes, I have, uh, I have, the, anytime that you need a single copy of any of those, just say, hey, uh, in a telegram, I need a copy of whatever it is, and I'll get one out to you as soon as I can. All right. Oh, Fantastic. Do you have a like rough a estimate on a quote for a single one? For a single one? Uh, let's see. With the cost of the book, so I'd push this the book, um, I don't know, $30? No, no, with the cost, $40, sorry. <laughs> Fantastic. Is that good? Uh -huh. All right. Yep. I'm gonna, I might send you a telegram later if you're to add in the paper about them. All right. Sounds good to me. I mean, we have been very busy with the paper lately, so, uh... Yeah. There's been a lot. Just a lot of things, new things have gone out. So, uh, I don't know how long an ad would stay around. Hi there. Howdy, Adelaide. Oh, yes. I was just saying hi to my boss. Who's your bus? Oh, mi Mr. Peter. Mr. Peter? Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm. 
Nice Howdy, vest. Sir. Hello. Yes. Peter, I'm gonna be coming back to work. I worked a little this morning. Finished it. All right, let's go. Cause um, the people's not trying to kill me no more. What do you mean? That lady was surprisingly good at poker. Or was just talking. I can't forget her name. Saying, mm -hmm. I'm gonna run to the telegram and then I'll be ready. Okay. Hmm. Wonder if there's people at medical. Maybe we should rent a kid. We can do that if you want. What is it? 20? Something like that. Oh, wait, we can just share a horse. Do you have a horse in Rhodes? Or are you planning on coming back here? Well, my horse is here. Okay, then you'll just have to come back with me after I'm done. Or rent a wagon to get yourself back out here. No, you know what I like to do? I've done it once. Uh, there's a fella, you can rent a boat. Oh my goodness. So, Dolphy does that all the time. He says it's safer to travel by boat over the roads than it is by, by horse. Because really? you're not going to get robbed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's nice and peaceful. I tried to fish off it, but uh, I don't, it couldn't keep my balance. Mm, I wonder what happened. send up a ladder and kind of lay down on a roof and see if we can hear anything. There's no good spots. <laughs> I found a lot of good spots in Valentine, but not Blackwater yet. Blackwater's just so very open and uh, it's got um, like the streets are so very wide and the buildings are tall. the alleys you just get a like the saloon is a really good alley where you can hear them i don't know i might have to go to san denis and see what's going on there really yeah, if I can curry the favor with the law by, I don't know, giving them information I hear. I mean, I'm sure I could just hang around the Bastille or uh, Telegram office. A lot of people come and go. I honestly think that your best bet for getting in with law is going to be more hanging out with law than even if you don't give them much information than it is with, you know, people who might give you information. I thought about sitting on the porch and demanding they let me sweep <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> just be genuine and nice to them is all really it's like i feel like a, a lot of people do try to get in with get in good with law by just i don't know they try too hard and then after that happens then the law they're very suspicious people by nature so anything that's a, even the slightest bit kind of like i have a motivation behind this they go hmm i don't trust you so I think just honestly, genuinely being their friend is probably the best bet. Just getting to know them and asking them how their day is. Honestly, I think I've kind of done that because, you know, given my past, I, I may have been behind bars a few times. And that's where I, I met most of the law and uh, became friends with them. Uh, I, I think I immediately became friends with uh, Sheriff Rabbit. Um, mm -hmm. uh, that Wayne fella, I think, uh, got me for a uh, giant run gun bad. Um, probably met Cash and 
Yeah, uh, just kind of joking with them. Second, you, once you get them to laugh, you got them. Yeah, that's true. I agree with that. Because, <laughs> uh, Sheriff, uh, Old Rabbit, um, they said, uh, that, um, uh, pretty much a shoe in a matter of time rather than showing hmm. up. Interesting. All right. Well, good. That's encouraging. Right? I had kind of a similar thing when I first started because uh, I, well, I had already gotten to know a couple of lawmen when, uh, before I joined the paper, Cash being one of them. So uh, when I joined, Corner was talking about the importance of, you know, making sure that you talk to people, all kinds of people, and sometimes you got to talk to criminals, as he calls them, and everything. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, I, and he said, said that the relationship that the law has with the paper has not always been the greatest, or that the paper has with the law, rather. And I said, well, would you like me to work on that? Because I had already kind of made friends with a lot of them. And uh, and he said, well, sure, if you would like to. And anytime, you know, I was new and I was a fresh-faced reporter and I was speaking to law about these cases that they were either working on or just fresh to close and they didn't know how to take me just yet. So when uh, when I first started, I simply remained completely upfront. I said, you know what? I'm writing an article about this. I don't know uh, or I don't uh, have any intention of making the job any more difficult than it needs to be. But uh, is there any information that you can give me? And one uh, in particular, McGregor. I don't know if you've met him. I have. But I started talking to him, and I asked him a couple of questions before I revealed I was a reporter. And he goes, oh, why are you just asking me these things for uh, for the news? And I said, no, Mr. Or De Deputy McGregor, if I was asking for the news, I would say, could you comment on this as, as part of a news article I'm writing? And that, he seemed to really warm up to that. It Just the honesty of it was uh, yeah. helpful to them, I guess. But now they tell me everything. Uh, I think I'm disarmingly forthcoming. It just kind of puts people off, and all, all of a sudden they're, you know, then I, that's where I hit them with a, a nice joke, and then we're best buds and buying each other uh, a beer. Perfect. That charisma. Yeah, so I just have to stay clean and, I guess, um, just be uh, the neighborhood nosy, you know, with binoculars on the roof. What are they doing? <laughs> Ain't on. <laughs> They're grimacing. <laughs> Maybe they had some bad meat, Robert. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> They're grimacing. It's vandalizing my eyesight. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna wash out this uh, coal dust in my hair, but I'm I gonna... think you should if you're going back to being Robert Fisher. Yeah, I'm just wondering about the mustache. I'm keeping it on to glitchy. Hmm. You were clean shaven before, weren't you? Yeah. That's what I thought. You have to wait for your hair to grow, I suspect. If you wanted to grow back out again. Yeah, am I? I'm just gonna wash it out, and over time it'll grow again. Mm hmm Hair's good like that. I never did cut mine. Thank God. I don't want to cut mine when I ever I do my disguising self. Seems uh your predator got bored or just kinda of fell off for a bit. I guess so. It's just so hard to know what to do because they really do they show up, but they show up so very rarely. Yeah, that's how I feel <sighs> too. So the only one I'm worried about is that forest fishman. Last time I saw him, he chased me through Valentine. Hmm. Really? Even after we saw him in Saint Denis, he was chasing you? No, that was prior to that. Wait, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was prior. To yeah. That. So he hasn't seen you with the whole change look or anything like that then. No. Yeah. No. No. no he has not. Mm, okay. I had a tip that something went down here at Shady Bell. Yes, today. There was some big shootout or something. 
and law dragging folks over to medical. Mm -hmm. We uh, we might see. We might. Could be that. Could be that gang. That gang war I heard about. Gang war. Yeah, from the folk from San. Oh Day. right, you mentioned that yesterday. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what there is to that, but. Uh... <laughs> See that man over on the left by the general store with the gold vest and the white shirt and the black pants? Yep. I always do a double take because I think that that is Sheriff Cash. <laughs> that man wanders or he lives here and I always have to look twice. I thought he was clean shaven. He is clean shaven. I don't look at the face clearly. <laughs> I just catch the side of that gold vest is all. In a bathroom. <laughs> kind of looked like it, didn't it? Mr. Flood, are you here? So help me if I don't catch him tonight. Mm. I'm upset I didn't win that gun, that raffle. I got my ticket for doing an article for him, so it's all good for me. <laughs> yeah, no cost. No cost. Oh, the lights are on. Don't see any people inside, though. What, in the parlor house? Yeah, isn't that where the shootout happened? No, Shady Bell. What's Shady Bell? Uh, so, it's a little south of here, I think. Where is Shady Bell? Might have to show it to you. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure... You see where it says Boulder Glade? Yeah. Okay. To the east of that, you see how there's a... kind of a cluster of buildings down there, right by the river? Yes. That leads out into the uh, the lake. That is Shady Bell. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know what it is about people in po these posses that really want to stay claim on land. No. What do you mean? It's it, That just reminds me of the people I kind of roamed with. The last yeah. thing I heard from them is they uh, were... <clears throat> they found some ranch in the north. Um, I forget where exactly, but there's a really, really beautiful uh, flower field outside of it. But uh, they were going to run the ranch there and, and go legit. And they just needed the money to, to fund it. And I'm just... Uh, it's, it's, all, it's all just a ruse. Right, just a front. Just a cover for uh, their addition to crime. Yeah. That's, right. that's got to be what it is. Because it's not, it's not lucrative, right? It's not... It doesn't help you make money really these people are thousands of dollars in debt it steals your time away because you have to go and serve in Sisica for however long uh so it's got to be fame and glory or it's got to be just addiction I'll, I'll tell you i'll be honest with you the, the fella you, you uh you um you go to his house and in the basement there's this little speak easy and then you make this horrible smelling liquor and you get three hundred dollars in your pocket for the effort and risking your hide, but it truly, I can get. I mean, I just enjoy fishing a lot more than just doing that, where I know it's almost guaranteed that the you know cash is going to be riding up on on me immensely fast. Yeah, get arrested and you get fined. Right. Or you and do it's time. Not worth it. Yeah. yeah. It is. I agree. All right, but, let's yeah. go to Shady Bell. Oh, you want to go? Right? Okay, well, we'll go to Shady Bell right now, and then we'll come back, and I will find Mr. Flood. Yep. Hopefully. <laughs> I like how you... Did I say we'll go down there and look at it? 
I intended to, but I don't know if I actually got the words out. Uh, I think you like touched upon it. You're like, oh, maybe I should show it to you. Yes. Yes, that's Billy Joe Barber, and uh, that was Wayne McAllister on the horse. He was the one who uh, taught me a few, uh, a few of the underworld uh, techniques. Really? That yeah. Didn't surprise me at all. Yeah, he's, he's uh, definitely a undercover outlaw. I don't think he's that undercover. <laughs> No, is he okay? I, I know he, he gives me that. He gives me the impression of like just a very charismatic, great guy. Just you know, hey, I'm here to play some music. But I didn't know if he kept his uh, lawlessness under wraps or not. Not at all. No, he is. Uh, he is. People's primary complaint about him is that he talks way too much. Just talks, talks, talks about everything that he should not talk about. Interestingly. All right, so here is Boulder Glade. It's a battlefield. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And I don't know these paths super well, but um, I think if we just continue a little southeast, right, that should lead us there. Oh, yeah, I believe so. Although I have heard that there's panthers in these woods. Maybe more east. So, yeah, probably need to be, you're right, more east. Way more east. Right, right below me. I have my cattleman, though. Ooh. Yeah, this is, uh, I've never actually explored this. I probably will save it for a different time. Oh, I found, I found something rather, rather gruesome outside Valentine. Oh no, what? Uh, it, it was uh, probably where a house used to be, but uh, pretty much the whole house was gone aside from the entrance to the basement. Oh boy. And uh, yeah, down there was uh, a w what looked to be body parts. Oh my goodness. Awful. Old ones? Or yeah, fresh ones? Yeah, it, it seemed old. There was. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but the weirdest thing about it was there was a note on the entrance to the basement area that said, for, any, for interested folk uh, about rentals, contact this telegram. What are you renting from there? Oh my goodness. That's awful. So this is Shady Bell, and it occurs to me that we are coming down here, even after we already know that there was some kind of shootout or situation here. I hope no one's still here. I mean, I don't. Oh, I got sc I got scared by a Just scarecrow. Coyote, like. we'll just go real quiet, like. So obviously, it used to be like a manor house. Yeah, it seems like someone just kind of turned it into like an outpost. Right. I think the family that lived here, obviously, some things befell them. That's a shame. There's a lot of dynamite around, too, so you have to be careful. But you yeah. can also go out back and shoot things. Oh, that uh, the red box is there, rather tantalizing. Right. But I came down here with Mr. McAllister one time and uh, another fella. Can't even remember who they were now. And uh, we shot out back here. All these crates and things are set up. Oh, a little gallery. Yeah.
And then we had a competition to see who could shoot the that lantern that's hanging out on that cabin. You see it? All the way over there. Oh, wow. All the way out there? And then we had a competition. <laughs> who won? Me. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. With a, a revolver? With a cattleman, yeah. Want to prove it? It will not be on the first try. Yeah. Come on, it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> How is that possible? It evaded you. It keeps moving. That's yeah. okay. Maybe it's the wind. Maybe. Because to me, it looked like it was right on top. I will say, it was not on the first try or anything ridiculous like that. It was, uh, we all shot several rounds and reloaded a few times. Okay, I'm shooting that thing dead on, and maybe I'm just not seeing it close enough. There it is. Oh. Did you shoot oh, from you there know before? What? Yes, we were standing right here because we had wow. not even moved from the gallery. But let me look at this. No, it's fine. Hmm. All right. Also, I mean, I was using Cattleman. This is Schofield, so it's a different weapon. Oh, you know what? This has had the barrel cut off. Oh. So I'll bet it's not quite as accurate. All right, let's see if I can hit that pumpkin. There you go. Now you got it. Yeah, there are times it's sure. Did you hear some host beats a little bit ago? Let's get out of here. I don't like it. You don't want to poke uh, your head in the front door? No, I don't. Seems quiet in there. <laughs> oh, you inside. I just poked my head in the front door. Wanna shoot the about before we go? Yes. Oh, you got it. Well done. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we just destroyed all the evidence the law needed on the shootout. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> There goes their foyer. <laughs> the house actually looks... Well, Calico Hall looks like the, the most like my family's home, but that one is second. Those are actually pretty beautiful homes, I will say, so... They are. Must be quite, uh... Quite a life to be brought up in one of them. It's certainly different from the things she experienced out this way, that's for sure. Hmm. Can't relate to that. How'd you grow up? Where are you from? I don't think I know. I'm from Boston. Mm hmm. Oh, that doesn't really yeah, answer the yeah. question. No, I grew up in the city. That was similar to Sandine, so it was mm -hmm. kind of, um, well, I guess some would say a life of privilege. Well, I certainly had one of those. Mm. Because of a time, read books and try to pursue uh, all sorts of arts and fail at them. <laughs> My brothers are kind of running the family company, so it's really not for much for me to do. So I kind of see what I can do. And... Are you the youngest? Mm-hmm. Yeah. My older brothers do the same, so they run the family business well my father's still alive so he he does most of it and it's kind of transferring to them but my younger brother scott i have two younger brothers scott and malcolm but um 
Scott is uh, here and he finds himself in the same position as you. He doesn't have much to do because of, uh, well, just everybody else already has things that they're working on. Well, I was tasked with uh, opening uh, an office out here because uh, the family business is a publishing company, actually. But uh, oh. no, there's no rush for that. Right. Especially because, uh, you know, printed press is not really a thing here. Exactly. Can't imagine you could have a publishing company very easily without a printed press. But it's it's my life's quest and everything else is far more important to me. I just, you know, send a telegram home every now and then say, yeah, I'm working on it. No. My life's quest was to uh, commit myself to an advantageous marriage and join two prominent southern households together in the unbreakable bonds of matrimony. Goodness. Right. Horrifying. I obviously do not want to do that. Which is why I'm dragging my feet going home. Yeah, no. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your freedom. Is that, is that... Yep, that's him. Okay. All right. The talk I need to have with him is a little bit private, so I'm going to go and find him. Absolutely. I'm going to go to the telegram okay. station. Anyway. All right. Oh shit, I got my fucking playing card.
I need to make a, I need to make a campfire so I can old ass meat I had in my bank. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Go fuck yourself. Good morning to you. Morning, partner. 
fucker. Music. Fine day to you. Those men pissing?
hello. We got 31. Howdy, partner. How do you about? The blip music. Do anything. Well, howdy now. A notebook, bruh. Money to be made on the new railroad for those who know which way the skiff floats. 
That's what you're saying. What? Pieces of shit. Great. They took down another one of my ads. I swear I'm the only one this is happening to this much. No, I see. Trust me, I see it happen a lot. This is the only thing of its. This is the only thing. It's not. Yeah, I don't. If I find out who's taking these down, I will. I will fucking punch them in the face many times. I don't even know if I can put down this many notes, to be honest. Um, let me put it back in where I had it before. I had it right here. Yeah, I need you to put it down. Got the help talking about that boy you got killed in the road. To have them all shook up. Won't be the last time either. What a cover. Hopefully, no one rips that one down. It's At least someone doesn't appreciate the odds. That's just how things all I do. Okay.
Right, Dan. Oh, I wonder if there's any recipes in the newspaper today. I'm gonna check today, actually. Ooh, paper. Celsius of rat scaler. Hmm. Yeah, and I can go to Sam. God, why do I have to keep my nose clean? I want to steal a fucking horse so bad.
What? You gotta say, you know something? I can't remember what the bank is. Oh shit, no.
No, there's definitely seven. I hope this is the right. Oh. <laughs> 
is. I washed uh, the coal out of my hair, but uh, I feel like uh, I think I got the lighting wrong. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell tonight in the dark. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 the nighttime. Well, I am going back to Blackwater. Are you going back there, or are you going somewhere else? Yeah, let's go to Blackwater. All right, let's go. Luckily, the fellow at the stables let me uh, rent a horse real quick. Well, that was nice of him. You know, if I had been thinking, I would have had us take your horse here because I have a horse here right now that I probably should bring back to Blackwater. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Well, the logistics of horses thinking. are, you know... I probably could telegram at some point and just ask him to send him on down with the stable boy. You know, it's been about a week, so. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, I telegrammed you the, the second revision. Oh, my gosh. I just read it, and it uh, the word that came to mind reading that article, do you want to know what it was? Oh, no. What? Seductive. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. It's oh, well okay. done. Super Thank well you. Done. You're welcome. That's, that's exactly right. That's very, very well done. In fact, I'm going to show it to Corner. You should show it to Corner at the meeting tomorrow. Yeah, I wrote it down, so um, I got a, I got an extra copy on paper. So, yeah, I'll show it. So. All right, good. Because, I mean, I know you're trying to be a cadet and all, but it would be nice to, huh? I still want to write, and I, I, I think it. yeah, I, I think um, what Corner said was, like, you know, uh, there would be certain limitations of what whatever topics I may be able to cover, but, uh, at, at, you know, in my heart, it's writing. Really. You could talk to Deputy Saffron about that. She used to write for the paper. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. I've gotten to know a few of the deputies. Um, I haven't come across them. You've gotten to know a few of the deputies, what? But I haven't come across Saffron. She's in Blackwater all the time. She lives there, actually. Oh, really? She's got red hair. She's got a Scottish accent. Um, she, uh, wears a hat with, like, silver medallions all around. What, she, what's her first name? Saffron. Oh. Uh, Mitchell. Hmm, okay, no, it's not her. Some, someone with an accent helped me one time when I got robbed by that Aurora lady. Hmm, other deputies with accents. There's a female. Uh... I don't know. Uh -oh. Yeah. That blew up suddenly. You'll be proud too. I overheard a couple people in the the general store. Oh, I gotta read the paper. I gotta read. Is there a new article? I gotta read it. They were all excited to grab a paper. <laughs> I always like that very much. <laughs> As well. A lot of people when they meet me nowadays, they go, "Oh, I think I've read your name in the paper before," and it is just it never. I, it's mind blowing every time. That's the, honestly, that's kind of how it felt when uh, I ran into Miss Fletcher yesterday. I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I've certainly seen that name a lot. Right? I like Miss Fletcher quite a lot. She's very sweet. But honestly, I was far more excited to meet, you know, dear Abby and get all the, <laughs> get all the hot advice. The, the juicy, what do you call it? Oh, you call it tea time. Yeah, the tea time. I think that's so precious. <laughs> we gotta put a kettle on, pull up a chair, get a little get a little circle going on in the telegram office, and just just dish. Dish. You have such a thing for gossip. <laughs> you do listen to you. 
I do. Yeah, absolutely. I want to know everything that's going on. <laughs> I think that's why your I think it's your pension for gossip that made that article so good. You never know who you might be playing cards with at the it's poker true, table. It's <laughs> true. Yeah. Mostly outlaws and people who have no money or too much money. Uh, someone tried to get me to play this high stakes poker game that I wrote all the ads for and uh I just could not bring myself to spend my life savings on a poker game. Yeah, one thousand dollars. You even that that's too much for me. Four hundred dollars, oh, okay. The buy-in buy for this game is three thousand dollars. Oh, oh, high high stakes. I, I know there's a high stakes, stakes game going on right now in Saint Denis for a thousand. Oh really? Yep. Yeah, no, Every this Friday. one was Oh, I didn't know that. High stakes every Friday for a thousand. Well I can maybe manage that one time, but no, this one was three thousand dollars and it was a fifteen thousand uh, dollar payout. Ooh. For first place, yes. It was put on by Mr. Gold and uh, Sloan. Oh, I heard his name. Uh, he often plays at the uh, uh, high stakes games. I'm sure, they're there right now. But yeah, it's usually around 9 uh, Eastern. Um, I know Doc Calloway's always there. See that Tommy Two Stakes fellow, that Clint fellow. Did you, uh, well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess I feel like I better play a few more regular rounds before I join a high stakes where nobody knows who I am, you know? Do you feel confident for the ladies' night? Oh, yes, I have no trouble playing with all the. All the <laughs> oh, wow, you're gonna. Oh, the, the bravado. <laughs> I mean, even if I lose all my money, I still feel confident playing poker with a bunch of, with a bunch of ladies. That's fine. Oh, all right. My father said it was not ladylike for women to play poker. He would be very cross with me if he knew. Oh, come now. I know, it's very archaic, isn't it? Yeah, that's a universal game. As long as you got the, the coin, you the time. Every time I come up here now, oh sorry. Yeah, you're fine. Because there was a group of folks that came up and kidnapped me. We were hanging out down there, waiting to ambush folks. That was the Bloody Hoods. Oh yeah, I've heard about them near uh, the Orange Grove. Nothing ever came of those Colton folk near there. there was, it was nearby. There was a lot of notes there advertising some what seemed to be a religious cult. And I reached out via telegram. Never heard much, so... Huh. I, I assume they're done with... That happens quite often. I think it's just that Dr. Creed fellow is kind of active in that area at this point. I actually managed to get my interview with Dr. Creed. Did I tell you that? What? No! Why? No, I didn't. I, oh! oh. I'm so distraught! <laughs> Listen to how I had to do it. This is so I was nervous because I thought, oh, there's a horse here in the water. What the hell? Hey, I don't have a lasso on me, that's you. No, <laughs> I don't yeah, think so. <laughs> I guess 
he's going swimming. Yeah, he's just taking a bath. <laughs> All right. So the way I had to do it, though, because I was worried that uh, he was in cahoots with the Red Kiss Killer, who was the one who was after me, right? Yep. So I suggested that we could have the interview via journal. So I left a journal full of questions for him to write the answer to uh, in a box in a Ooh, like, little shack nearby. And he went and picked it up. And then I gave him instructions on where to leave the box. And he left the box with the filled out journal. And I took it and I made the article. It's in the paper right now. I perused the, the paper, but I must have missed it. So, huh. It's called Creed's Creed. He's so. very interesting, Philip. So you want to know the, the details? Of course you do. You always yep. do. Of course. Okay. I can't. They just mostly grabbed at my jacket. Yeah, I got tossed okay, around. You but... got lucky, though. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Yeah, I ran out of bullets and I had to kick that poor fellow up there, but he's down now. Is it dead? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, man. That was... That took me by surprise. Expect... Yeah. I wasn't expecting that after the sun came up, you know? Run. I'm not sure. She fucked me off finally. She tolerated it for a long while though. I'm real surprised. My horse is a, kind of a scaredy cat. Really? Yeah, and, and anytime I graze past an alligator, whoop, he throws me oh. off. <laughs> well, it leaves you to fend for yourself, huh? Yeah, pretty much. But luckily, the alligators don't seem when I'm swimming in the waters. I want to take a, take a nibble. So uh, his whole uh, thing is he doesn't believe that we live in a good society. He thinks that everything, all systems are corrupt and uh, that we deserve better as a people. And so um, he desires peace, but uh, peace through overwhelming force is still peace in his opinion. So his methods of attaining this better society have to do with, uh, I don't know, maybe forcing people into it. Really? Is he still? Mm -hmm. is, so what I was initially told was he was some sort of uh, um, some brain doctor, uh, psy, like something. Um, and yes. he gathered patients, and just kind of, from what I gather, he just kind of sets them on a town and lets them loose and studies them like some sort of case study. Uh, well, I asked him because I've heard a lot that he brainwashes people into becoming cannibals. Here's my line. And uh, he said that that wasn't true, never has been true, and that two of his patients were cannibals, but now they are no longer, and he doesn't have anybody now who's a cannibal. So, because his name gets tossed around with cannibalism all the time. That's where I heard about him, because I was looking up cannibals. Mm -hmm. Right. So that must have to do with it. I mean, I'm sure that a lot of what he said was fabricated, uh, but... Because, I mean... The interview that I did, not four days prior, he had gone to prison for murdering somebody. So, he's clearly not a... He's gonna sugarcoat things as much as he possibly can. Wait, who the hell did he murder? I'm not sure who he murdered. I didn't get the name of the victim.
All right, when we get back to Blackboard, I'm going to go to bed. Oh, I guess it is that time, huh? Yeah, I think so. What's, uh, 8, eight Eastern tomorrow? Is that when I'm beating it? Correct, yes. Why? Is that bad? No, 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 that's fine. I was saying, oh, no, I missed okay. the meeting today. Because I always think it's Friday, but it's never. Whoa! Whoops. There you go. Wash <laughs> off all that wolf blood. <laughs> you always think it's Friday. Yeah, no, it's not today. We are fine. Oh, I'm tired. A little long day, but productive. Yeah, you've been very, very busy, so it's a very productive day for you. You just going to sleep at all. Mm-hmm. Check out my pocket. Uh, $7. If I can do with that in a blackjack, then tidy on to bed. You're going to need three more to play here. Oh, whatever. I have a lot in the bed. <laughs> Should I take you there, then? No, <laughs> that's about I'll take you to the bank, though. Wow, I wanna know. Looks juicy, whatever it is. Let's do a slow There's a lot of people in town right now, oh my goodness. Trot, trot down there, pretend like we're going to the gun store. Let's listen real quick, we don't have to stick around. Yeah, there you go. That's completely not obvious. As soon as, as soon as they drop it, it's gonna be... Oh, it's Coiner. Coiner! Hello! Whoa! Hi! How, okay, now I'm blushing. Thank you. I'm gonna hit you up. Is this a private talk? Should we piss off? No, you're fine. Uh, it's not a private talk. We were just talking about how insane yeah. Saturday the 23rd is going to be. Yep. yep. What? What is Why? Saturday the 23rd? We've got a lot of different events that are going on. Oh. Like what? Melee market. Nope, I'm going to start at the beginning. Let's, let's not do it out of schedule. Let's, okay, so at 3 o'clock, there's going to be a tournament, specifically a ship captain crew, run by the health department. It's going to be one of two tournaments happening that day. So we got 3 p.m. that's happening. At 5 p.m., there's going to be a blood drive as well, too. So blood testing, all of that, and then there's going to be priority, particularly for rangers and law enforcement in that. So just to check blood and such, I'm going to be volunteering for that as well, too. That's a two-parter as well, too. 7 o'clock. Melee market. Nine o'clock. Oh, no, not even that. No, before that. Shit. Six o'clock is the ranger run where there is a prize pool. I'm not even kidding you. Of near close to 3,000. No, $4,000. Holy shit. Ooh, what? Oh first, well, is the first, reigning champion. I gotta go. Yeah, first prize is 2,000. Second place is 1,000. And third place is 500. The ranger run. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. So that's going to be on the, uh, at 6 p.m. 7 p.m. Melee market. 9 p.m. Second part of the ship captain crew tournament run by the healthcare department. 10 o'clock. Blood drive again. Oh, my. And Sound that's not that's busy. There's, there's no, also, it's just there's shifted also from one a, thing to the other. There's also a art gallery. Or an art festival or something like that. There's, just, there's too much happening on the 23rd. I mean, well, I mean, I didn't mean to schedule shit at the same time that everybody else was. I, mean, I know, but it. fuck it. This is what we're going to do because you know what this does for the crossing? It makes people choose. Yeah, so I like that. We're going to have a situation where on the 23rd, we're going to have so much well thought out spacing happening here in the crossing and people running different things that hopefully, hopefully, not one event is going to be more popular than the other. And the Ranger Run is going to be an RSVP. There's only 12 slots in it. Entry fee is 100 bucks too, so. Hmm. 
there's that ship captain crew that's a 20 dollars entry fee and you got and you know you play you know twice maybe if you wanted to do that so that's 40 dollars right there crew? it's a dice game that you play with five pieces of dice oh i thought it was gonna be a boat race now i'm less excited yeah ship captain crew oh, it's a fun game who's that who's this oh, what why are you just who's dadding everybody oh. Somebody's on the back of the horse. Someone's on the back oh of the horse. Oh my goodness. Well, we came here to get sung at, but apparently that's not fucking happening. So I mean, I don't see him anymore. Did they go into the uh, saloon? I don't know where they went. I don't know. At any rate, we're having a meeting tomorrow, so we'll see about that. Uh, just so much is going on on my table on my end of it because I'm getting constantly telegrams and, I, and I've been trying to either deal with it or pass it out to other people and when i do that that's completely fine um yeah i haven't been by the telegram office so delegate if you need to happy to help i mean mm -hmm. yeah i have done but it also is just one of those things where some of them are very sensitive and i go i could give this to abigail but at the same time it's like they they operate at a certain time so i go i need to do this myself so i've had to try to have meetings like at one in the afternoon or three in the afternoon for these people I did a great amount of work today. A lot of work today. Uh, I sent you, I put a note on your desk, by the way, because I wanted you okay. to review that before I published it. All right. It's about the, the dead end kids one, the highest one. Well, it might have to hold off because they just did, you know, I, I don't know. They, they, they look like they were getting up to something today because I saw them outside. Oh, they've been the up to three office. things since that whole fiasco that there's, they've robbed a bank since then. They got into another shootout today. They did another prison break as well. So they've done three things since that whole incident took place. Well, okay. They've been busy. They've been up to Sisica three times since then as well, from what I understand. <sighs> All right. So, but that's good. The, I think that that one's important and probably should be published. Right. The one about getting heisted. It's just the that, heist. Yeah. Okay. I'll read it and I'll, I'll see where, where it stands. And then uh, if we need to reframe it or like, you know, edit it or anything like that, I'll let you know. That's exactly why I sent it to you before I published it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I did that. I did Rockwell's 11. I also put out a, an additional, uh, and I just took the initiative on this. I put out an additional announcement or notice uh, for the update in the People's Next of Kin. Because I saw that you made the change in the, the Next of Kin article that's always there. Nobody's going to notice that. I don't think I wouldn't notice it if I was looking through the paper. So I just put out an article that can just go through. And it's very short and just says, hey, you should update this if it was prior to May 15th or anything like that, just so that it will go through the paper normally and then fall off at the end. That way people actually notice that they need to do that. Okay. Uh, so I did that. And I've started the mission statement. All right. All right. You okay with that? Yeah, totally fine. Uh, once right. it falls off, then it falls off. But then exactly, you know. right. But it's just you know to let everybody know that way. There's a little bit of buzz that just gets generated. People talk about it a little bit, and then uh, we can just move on from there. There you go. More to add. Oh, to, more to add to that workload. Let's see, I have to see him. Oh, read this. Here in the siren song of Lady Luck, and mosey yourself onto the saloons of Valentine, Blackwater, Rhodes, or even San Denis for some poker. The thrill of the gamble has struck the good folks of Saints Cross, and from beginners to professional, pull up a chair and pull your wallet out on the line. You never know who you might be betting against. Um, you should also put tumbleweed in there because uh, there's a table out that way. No, yeah, I played there. I just I was worried about the uh, limit on uh, letters. Well, how much is the limit? Four hundred and fifty. Four fifty. Yeah, what's wrong with that? No, no, not that I didn't know. I, I, I haven't been, I didn't count my words. So if I can fit tumbleweed, yeah, absolutely. I'll throw tumbleweed. In there. All right. Fair enough. I mean, I could probably just edit it in. So uh, I have to transcribe this anyway. My little progeny. Yes. She's it's a me great so well. article. I yeah. thought that was great. I thought it was, I said, I used the word seductive. Right. It is. It's very seductive. Yeah. Did you mean pro, pro progeny? Prodigy? You mean Prod prodigy? I don't progeny. think so. Progeny is a, you just had a baby. Well, you gave birth to me. No, you gave birth no, to my writer. It doesn't have to. No, it doesn't have to mean that. It can mean like you're. Uh, or you're a vampire you're queen. Yeah, you spawn. Oh. Right. Yeah. There's a metaphorical meaning as well as a literal okay. meaning. Okay. Yep. Yep. She birthed you. 
Fisher. She birthed you. Oh, and I'm a, I'm a beaming baby in this new world. Yep, just a you beaming, are. beaming baby. Look at you. You look like fucking law. Look at you. Yeah, he does. This is I was the, wondering who that was. The word it. prodigy, by the way, only refers to somebody who's very good at something when they're extremely young. Okay, so yeah. that wouldn't be the word either. Well, he's, 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 you know, he's like a, he's like a yeoman. man. He's like a, he's like a sweet little boy. Look at him. Sweet little boy. And this yeah. is my first uh, wear, outfit where I incorporated some blue. I wanted to represent. Yeah, it looks go. very nice. Thank yes. you. Little baby blue. Little baby. Yeah. The nice powder blue. Mm -hmm. Very subtle. Oh, it is very eyes. subtle. Is, is your, your eyes are blue? Yes. Oh, yes, they are. Time to see, because you're always wearing such deep hats. Okay, I'm going to bed. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow for the meeting. Yes, we'll be in. All right. Good night, everybody. Good, good night, Abigail. Have a good night. Oh, people are hurting now. It's constantly people getting hurt. Especially here. Every time I feel like I ride into Blackwater, there's always a gaggle at the doctor. But... Yeah, yeah, just a whole bunch of geese just getting that shit ruined. <laughs> whole bunch of geese. I talked to the law yesterday and I asked, mm -hmm. you know, what's what's going on? What do you what do you need more information on? And apparently there's some sort of a sort of uh, uh, dare I say a, a gang war going on out of San Denis, and I guess it's city folk versus non-city folk but uh th they didn't really name names or groups or individuals or anything they just said you know share information i mean if you keep your ear to the ground you should hear something yeah, oh no that's what i'm doing yeah that's i mean i, I just heard it last night but uh, i i was kind of tickled with that because it's the first i've heard of it especially coming off of a you know going from blood witch to gang war it's a yeah that's a, that's <laughs> that's a, it's a hard pivot here in the cross it yeah. happens quite a bit <laughs> I'm for it. Keep my ear to yep. the ground. Yep, yep. As long as you keep yourself, uh, you know, knowledgeable of the situation and just like, you know, out of out of harm's reach, because I, I know how it is sometimes you had that hit on you for a bit. People yeah. want to get you dead. Yeah, that's why I kind of washed that coal out of my hair. Um, I don't know if they're around. I think they've kind of got... The thrills weren't coming fast enough, so I think they've kind of daddled out of the crossing, but... Well, still, I, I'm probably keeping an ear out just in case. So, uh, you know, I've been I've been trying to keep an ear out as well, too. So apparently I've gotten good with a few criminals. So uh, I'll start asking questions as well. Yeah, it's something to keep an eye out for if there's something developing. Yeah, I love to say those Sandini uh, folk, they don't necessarily play nice with the paper. So uh, we'll see. It's like they don't get the news from the paper. They just get the news from everybody else because they had informants everywhere as well, too. Well, uh, against my better judgment, I think I might kind of hang around there for the next few um kind of similar to how i hung around the bayou just to get to know folk and mm -hmm. maybe learn something i don't know all righty well just keep yourself safe in general absolutely yeah. uh abigail i'm gonna go to bed so i'll have a good night okay all right fisher you have a good one mm -hmm. you have a good night mm -hmm. uh. The right color? I think it's the right. Get my ass to bed. Lying in it. 